Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to a another episode. I'm once again in World of Warcraft Classic. And this time around, we're going to be doing a new dungeon. I'm sure you've probably gotten bored of watching me do Scarlet Monastery. So as you can see, we are going to go for Alderman. Now this is one that I don't actually remember that well. Um... It was a bit of a maze back in the day when I played it. It's not a dungeon that I used to come to very often. I am here as a healer. Go figure. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. Um, thank you all for joining me. And before we do actually get inside the dungeon, we do have a bit of fighting to do. And so whilst we are clearing out a path into the dungeon, I just thought I would take some time to thank you all for all of your amazing support with this series. And uh, with that said, it's time that we go and do this. For the most of it, as you can see, it's another guild run. So that is kind of cool, if I'm honest. I do like that. Hold on, what's going on there? There we go. So, personally speaking, I have no clue where we're going. Like, just the entrance into this particular dungeon is a bit of a maze. So, I'm going to get in here, but I don't know how I'm going to get out. I'm not going to lie. Ah, there's the entrance right there. That's fine. We are at the entrance. I still took damage from the bubble. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. We made it through. Three of us are here. It does look like two of our team members might potentially be lost here. Either that or they're looking for something specific. I'm not quite sure what quests there are here. I haven't really done any quests to be honest. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, a, a bit of an interesting dungeon. I'm glad that I'm in here. This will definitely refresh my memory. And, uh, as I said in the past, I didn't used to come here too often. But I did like it. it it's got a special look to it, if that makes sense. And I think I like it more for the design as well. Plus, the creatures in here are kind of different as well. All right, well, we are waiting. Oh. Normally when I say we, I refer to me, but... Um, I guess all three of us are waiting. <laughs> and it is true, it is a bit of a maze. So right now, I'm just trying to entertain myself by moving my character without my character's feet moving. All right, we'll pop them back out. Let's see if they need any help or whatnot. I mean, the thing is, though... We're going to have to fight through a lot of stuff. They might be grabbing the quests, maybe, or completing some quests for this specific dungeon. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully this one doesn't take too long. But, uh, yeah, it's what we were doing today. Honestly, and uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, I don't know... How long this dungeon will be. I think if I remember correctly. This tends to be quite a bit of a long dungeon. <laughs> so I'm laughing at the commentary that the priest made. Three paladins should mean three blessings. Which is going to be cool. We also have a mage, so that increases intellect. We have the um, buff of the priest, which again is cool. It's going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't do too much damage. Yeah, there we go. Priest is overtaking me, damage-wise. Yeah, there we go. Take out that healing totem. Tell you what, for a healer, I'm doing alright. I'd expect to do a hell of a lot worse. I'm guessing P 
people are getting bored now <laughs> just with all the waiting. And my outfit looks really awful. I do like the shoulder pieces though. They look quite nice. I one thing that I do like in terms of gear for World of Warcraft is when the shoulder pieces tend to be quite big, which is what these are, but uh, they look nice. I I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. So this is basically, I guess, a bit of a giant query kind of thing, mine type of deal. I'm just going to sit here and watch the priest do priest things. Maybe I'll help because he's now pulled two enemies and obviously he's a cloth wearer. Saying that, I'm wearing cloth, so... Really, I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but he's got the aggro Nami, so that's fine. Oh, here we go. So she's just going to start clearing trash around here. Well, that's fine. That's what he wants to do. I, I suppose we're doing something. Well, I didn't get too close to him, did I? <laughs> Alright, let me just quickly swap gear out, get something a bit more decent here. I can actually start whacking things. And now I'm frozen. Alright, the rest of the group has caught up. Time to go inside and hopefully it will be a nice enjoyful enjoyous joyful positive uh wipeless run like i said i don't really know what to expect from well i'm um, right so I, I said it in the chat i don't really know what to expect from this particular run i don't remember the bosses and uh as such i'm hoping it's not going to be too difficult Right, it's time for me to start buffing people up. I will normally go for Blessing of Wisdom. Just because it suits me. <laughs> and what is nice is that in this particular group, Blessing of Wisdom is something that benefits everybody. So I don't have to trade or swap between uh, Blessing of Might and Blessing of Wisdom. Alright, here we go. There we go. A little poop from the tank there. I'll try and drop a couple of poots as well. Alright, we're not doing too bad. Lava spout totem. Right, need to start healing up here. Tyrion is taking a bit of a beating. Oh, there we go. Healing totem. Careful. Take that down. I suppose I could have done that. But I worry that if I do that, I'll be distracted by it. And miss out on healing the tank. So that's kind of the reason. That's my explanation for not doing it. It's not really an excuse. an actual explanation. Oh, careful there, Tyrion. Don't want to get too overwhelmed here. Saying that, though, we do have the possibility of AoE and quite a good possibility of AoE here as well. So I'm just kind of looking. Okay, they do seem to like to run off. So that's possibly something that could become challenging later on. Yeah, there we go. He's gone and aggroed some more creatures. But that, we've already kind of cleared up this group, so... Whatever else is coming this way, if it's coming this way, should be fine. It looks like he's died, though. Uh, so I did see an NPC run off into that like right corner there, but he seems to have died off before he actually got very far, which is kind of nice. Oh, all right, we're sharing quests. That's kind of cool. 
I don't know. I don't tend to complete quests um, when I'm in dungeons, basically because I forget about them. But then sometimes I'm not, or oftentimes, when I don't forget about them, I'm not very lucky. So, <laughs> I've made a bit of a bad habit of not looking to complete quests in dungeons. I'm more looking after, or for the gear that does wrap. Hopefully we get something nice out of this. It would definitely be a good thing if we got something nice out of this dungeon. Okay, okay. Huh, cloth. What am I wearing? Intellect spirit. One intellect, six spirit, twenty one armor. I might want to need this. It's better than what I have. And obviously I'm just going to ask just in case someone else wants it or needs it. I mean, I've always gone on the principle of if you need something, then need on it. Otherwise, greed. And here we go. So far, so good. I mean, this is only just the trash in the dungeon. But we are also getting some nice XP from it. Okay, this is not something that I'm that interested in. Until like... Uh, okay. Yeah, no, we don't really care much for this, so we're going to greed on it. Right, we're going to need to start healing here. Alright, here we go. We are doing just fine here. That healing ward though, that needs... Okay, it's gone down. And healing ward as well. We don't want these things up. Otherwise, we'll be fighting them forever and ever and ever. Oh, things keep spawning in. <laughs> this is what's fun about dungeons. There is a lot of bad stuff that you constantly have to take care of. And uh, I do like it when things kind of pile up and we just pretty much murder everything in the dungeon. It's kind of... It kind of offers a bit of a satisfaction, if I'm honest. But I suppose on the flip side of the coin, it can also be quite frustrating if you're in a bad group where things don't go as planned, uh, which in turn results in quite a few wipes. So there's that to keep in mind as well. So it looks like somebody's completed a quest here, which is nice. Um, I did receive that quest that was shared with me. Unfortunately, I haven't read it, so I don't really know exactly what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, no, nope, okay, I've completed it too. <laughs> so that was one of the quests that was shared. I'm just gonna follow everybody around here because I really am gonna be honest and say I do not know no. what to do in this dungeon, uh, particularly in reference to the layout of the dungeon, the boss orders, where they are. I do remember though that this is quite a big one as well uh, with quite a few bosses. And I think this is one of the things that wow classic had to offer and i'm talking about you know the original wow pre burning crusade they they had some really big dungeons there's one that's almost like a raid size wise so yeah they did do things quite big don't know after this um talking uh, i don't know after cataclysm really um if they did any big dungeons I know raids could be big and long, but they also had some really short raids as well. So, yeah, like Onyxia's Lair, that used to be quite short, to be honest. It's just basically go in there, <laughs> clean some trash, and then just fight Onyxia. So, <laughs> it's one of those things. Um, but, I don't know. I'm trying to remember right now. I don't really... 
have much knowledge with regards to say for example uh Onyxia's lair in the sense of i think that was a dungeon probably in classic that got brought back in cataclysm i feel like that's the history of it correct me if i'm wrong i could be completely wrong here okay so we are getting quite a few oh this is nice it's got intellect and stamina. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to... Like, honestly, it feels like I need everything that's in here. And uh, to be honest, I'm just kind of working with what I've got. It's fine. I, I won't need everything just because uh, what I get from the quest I should be able to deal with anyways. It's one of those things. I, I know that as I level up, I will most often outgrow what I'm equipping and so as a result I'll have to change it so what I get now unless it's like vitally important I probably won't need on it um, it depends really what I call as vital Im important would be say for example um, things that would replace an item that is say 20 levels below and yeah, that's kind of vital. It does make a big impact on my gameplay. Other than that, you know, I, I do know that I level up. So there's bits and pieces that um, I won't be needing on, although I could probably do with them. And I'm not going to need on stuff just for the purpose of disenchanting them. I'll find ways around it. So there we go. Wow, that's a big pull. <laughs> Tell you what, it's nice that we have all of this AoE that is being done. I do wonder why the priest is actually using the wand. Maybe just doing it for funsies. Yeah, I reckon he's just doing it for funsies. Because I, I reckon he could do much more damage. Well, it wasn't that difficult to heal, so it looked a lot worse than it actually was. <laughs> so it seems like I'm not the only one that doesn't remember this particular dungeon. I mean, in fairness, I've got, what, a 10-year gap? So it's been a long time since I've been here. Saying that, I probably wouldn't remember it too much just because, simply put, I probably wouldn't come here very often if I were to play it regularly. Right, there's a decent amount of damage going on. It's definitely draining my mana right now. I'm hoping that the fight ends fairly soonish. Because if it doesn't, uh, well, I won't have any mana to heal with. Yeah, this is, I think, a time for me to start drinking after this fight if we get through this because right now what I'm seeing is nobody's taking care of the healing one uh, healing ward and so that's why these guys are lasting forever I suppose I could have done that I kind of feel guilty now I should have probably gone and done that but what I worry is I'm wearing cloth. I would have to go within melee range to deal with that. And I run the risk of being hit. Now, wearing cloth and being hit is not a fun time. Which is why, to be honest, I was hoping that someone, um, either a DPS that's melee there, so one of the paladins, or one of the, either the priest or the mage would have dealt with it. Because this one lasted extremely long. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely going to need to drink here, buddy. <laughs> nope, I can't mind that, so that's fine. Oh, right. We are fighting some more stuff. I have 
recovered some of my mana. Okay, lava spout totem, that's fine. Not that big an issue. There we go. That's that dealt with. Alright, okay. Alright, so it looks like Tyrion can mine it. I thought initially that he couldn't. I mean, I can. It's red for me, so... There's no chance of that happening. He seems to be quite well on with his mining. So what pieces are we looking for? I don't think I have anything here. So this item begins a quest. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I know... I think they're trying to make something. Okay, so they're looking for... What exactly is it that we're looking for? Shattered necklace. Okay. Okay, I did not mean to do that. This thing is quite nice. I like this little model here. I wonder if this is a model of the city that once was, or the city that they're trying to build. <laughs> All the tiny town jokes. Cool. Um, we can deal with that. So this is what they needed to do. They needed to install that thing. I'm guessing that'll summon a boss or open a gate or something like that. Okay. Oh, that's quite nice. I don't remember this. I mean, I'm sure it's always been here. Okay, 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 okay. I remember this boss. I just don't remember the animation. That goes to show you how much attention I used to pay to this particular fight and how it starts when I used to play it. Like the little light coming between the cracks of the door. That's pretty cool. That's a nice touch. Nice little detail. I, I did appreciate that this time around. It only took 10 years. <laughs> I guess it's better late than never. Okay. Stuff. Well, this is an item that I can't use. And for stuff, it's got strength and stamina, so I don't really know what class would use that. So, yeah, I want to say that I feel like back in the day, World of Warcraft Classic, as we now know it, did have items with a mix of stats that really weren't useful to anything uh, in terms of classes. Like, if you're going to use a staff, you're going to be most likely a caster. So as a result, uh, for casters, what is important would be intellect, um, spirit, um, mana, stuff like that. That combination of stats. I mean, yeah, you're not going to see a paladin or a warrior going to fight um, NPCs with a staff. That just makes no sense. At least according to World of Warcraft, really. And you'll see loads of items as we go through the game with stuff like that, stuff like that. I think in the Burning Crusade, they started kind of sorting that out and so stats were actually more grouped together as per classes in terms of, you know, you'd get things that were useful to a class at some point. 
that makes sense. It, it wasn't just a mix of random stats that really made the item unusable for any class, to be honest. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. At least that's what I picked up on. I don't know if this is actual factual thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't understand World of Warcraft. That could also be a possibility. Or my understanding of World of Warcraft is somehow flawed. But yeah. Right now, I don't know where we're going. I think we might have missed the boss or something. Or maybe people have a quest in this direction. I haven't really paid attention to the chat, if I'm honest. I don't always pay attention to it. Oh, this would be a Skinner's Heaven, I'm guessing. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of bad stuff there. But he's not taking a lot of damage, you know, the tank. I'm guessing that the priest heals on the attacks that they have are also helpful. So they do make a bit of a difference. They may not be big, but they're consistent enough to actually make a big difference. Sorry, skinning. So, Tyrion seems to have gone for two gathering professions, one skinning, one mining. Interesting. I suppose that's one way of making money. Um, I've only gone for mining because I went for enchanting on my healer, and um, I'm going to focus on enchanting, but enchanting doesn't really work with much of anything else, really. And so I thought I'll go for mining. Mining is one of those resources that is actually useful in quite a few professions. So I can make some money off of that. Although a future character that I'll be making will probably have professions that mix. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I'm looking at the mini-map here. I would so be lost right now. I would have to have a full <laughs> scale map up. And this is the thing. This is one of the things that, personally speaking, is a bit annoying and I wish was different. I wish that if you opened up the map whilst in the dungeon, that it would bring up the dungeon map. Instead, what it does is it brings out the world map. So it doesn't really show you the layout of the dungeon as such. Okay, we are good to go. I do wonder if skinning makes any decent money, to be honest. So we're definitely looking for something. I'm not sure what we're looking for. <laughs> if there's a boss that's meant to be somewhere around here or not. I'm just following everybody and... Uh, Healing. That's kind of my role here. <laughs> Alright, I guess I better start moving on the heels. I did go for some big heels there. I might as well put a little poop down. Yeah, so that is annoying. I think the bats do silent, which means you can't really cast your abilities. And of course, that is one of the key features here in the game. It does suck when you need to cast something or use a special ability and you can't use it because you've been silenced. <laughs> Alright, there's a bit of banter going on. Yeah, these are not happy doors, are they? Alright, so is this what we're looking for? I'm guessing so. Looks like he's a boss. Hold on a bit. Right, so something's happened there. So sometimes my 
my mouse wants to do funny things and it ends up randomly clicking on things which is really weird because I have a very expensive mouse that I'm using it's a I think G50 something from Logitech it's meant to be quite expensive but then it does stuff like this and I don't really understand why and yeah I think the buffs need to be reapplied, particularly the Paladin ones. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> there we go, a bit of showing off here. Yeah, so you'll see me do some random things where... Um, say, for example, in this kind of situation where I'm supposed to be healing I randomly end up healing myself if that's the case as far as I can understand it's my dodgy little mouse that's kind of disappointing to be honest um, that's quite expensive it's basically somehow clicked on something uh, most likely an enemy target and as a result I end up healing myself Oh, we got a nice angry dwarf here, who's decided to cause some mayhem. And he actually hurts. <laughs> oh, here we go. He's got the bats. Interrupted and silenced. I can't do anything right now. So I have now tasted the flavor of being silenced. Or the taste of being silenced. I don't know which way it sounded better, but yeah. Which is not useful. So maybe I don't... Yep, yep. They seem to have a range on that. I've been silenced again. This would make a good hunter pet. Especially in PvP. You can definitely silence your opponent. Which would make a lot of their abilities kind of useless. I mean, it's really short-lived, and I guess you'd have to time it, but yeah, that is actually quite a nasty ability to, to use against your opponents in PvP. Not that I do PvP, so <laughs> I'm probably not going to do a lot of PvP anyways. I might mix it up from time to time, but I'm not big on PvP as a general rule of thumb, to be honest, so... Yeah, I think I will eventually at some point give it a go, but at this moment in time, I don't have any desire to actually do any PvP. I'm quite happy just sticking to the quest, doing the dungeons, leveling up, but I suppose once I get to a high enough level, you know, I might want to try a couple of things out. There's quite a few critters here. Right now, I'm wondering where the priest is just using the wand. But right. I'm sure he could do more damage than that. There are quite a few things that we can loot. Well, off the dead bodies, there's actually quite a few enemies. I don't know if we're looking still for something specific, if we're just kind of randomly wondering about this dungeon. Where is that guy going? That made no sense. <laughs> so, so far this run has not been too stressful in the sense of I, I suppose my first experience was the dead mines which I kind of found I'm not gonna lie I found quite stressful we only had one type of heal and there were some really close calls in the dead mines just because of that so plus there was a lot of damage as well which is kind of odd that's I for that level I found as a healer, the dead mine's quite difficult. 
at least to heal. So, yeah. And so, uh, in my mind, I kind of associate all dungeons with that level of difficulty, which is not necessarily the case. I mean, Tyrion there did have a close brush with death just then. <laughs> but I did keep him alive, so... That is pretty good. We have not yet died, so... It's looking very promising. Okay. Thought he was coming for me there. And as you can see, I mean, my mana is doing quite alright. I've not actually... I think I start stressing when I see my mana pool um, getting smaller and smaller and smaller and knowing that I need to... Um, that I need to basically heal and I have nothing to heal with. And most often I don't have potions that I bring with me, so maybe that might make a bigger difference. I'm sure it'd make a big difference. I was going to say a bit of a difference, but then I ended up with a big difference. Uh, but it's still, it'd make a difference when I do run out of mana, but then I suppose when I do get to 70, I will have to make sure that I have potions with me. I think that's going to be kind of a mandatory thing which is why I would actually benefit from having a alchemist Okay. Okay. So, apparently there's a boss somewhere here. Wherever this is. <laughs> I'm confused. To me, this is quite a maze. And you can actually see some of it on the mini-map. And it's, yeah, it's really, really weird. It's a big dungeon. I mean, I'm looking at the timer. We've already been in here for close to 40 minutes since at least I started recording. So I don't really know how many bosses there are and stuff like that. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. We're getting XP from it. We're, you know, killing stuff. And personally, I'm enjoying it. Oh, we're going to need to get some nice big heals there for Tyrion. We don't want him kicking the bucket. We we need him to stay alive. <laughs> and one of the cool things about being a healer is um, if somebody annoys me, I just don't heal them. I mean, I suppose with this kind of scenario, the tank that we have is pretty decent in terms of holding aggro, holding threat, basically. And uh, not letting NPCs attack other players. But I suppose being a healer, you're almost like the god in the dungeon. You kind of choose when people live and die. You can stop healing them. And then if the tank goes down, everybody else dies. Of course, you die with them. But, you know, it's a small sacrifice to pay if anyone does annoy you. Of course... I suppose following that, you probably get kicked out. <laughs> but you can annoy people. And later on, the repair bills do get quite expensive. So, yeah, there's that thing as well. Ooh, all right. We've got a back agility stamina. Don't really care for it. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I think this is the boss they're on about. Uh-oh. This is not good. I think one too many things have been pulled, including the boss. And there was a boss here. See, I wouldn't have known that. But judging by the dialogue there, 
Yeah, that has happened. And everybody's taking a lot of damage. I'm having to use the big heals, which is eating up my mana. And if we don't start killing some of the trash to reduce the amount of damage that is being done, I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to to sustain everybody. Yep, there goes the mage. One DPS down. I'm really struggling. Yep, there goes number one, number two. Yep. It's gone bad. <laughs> I do wonder if we've actually killed anything out of that group. Yep, I've pulled aggro on everything. <laughs> I mean, I suppose this is a mistake that's easily done, especially if you don't know the dungeon. In which case, I'm guessing none of us actually knew it that well. I didn't know it at all, so, you know, I'm speaking for myself. So, right now, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> and so, my resolve to this is to just follow everybody. And if we end up in the wrong direction, it's not going to be my fault because I don't know where we're going. Okay. So whilst I'm following people, I am going to just quickly check out my skill tree. I'm trying to decide what points to put where. I have a general idea of what I'm going to go for and how I'm going to spec my paladin. And sometimes... Having a bit of a look at it from time to time as I'm leveling up. Uh, act as a reminder of what I need to do next. I am getting close to leveling up. I don't know if I'll actually get a level here in this dungeon. I don't know how much there is left of it. So that's what there is to keep in mind. But there is what one, two, three, four, four and a half bars. As I like to call them until we level up. So it really does come down to how much... XP there is left to more or less farm out of this dungeon. <laughs> so Tyrion's basically like nobody needs to know about this, uh, you know, telling us to be quiet. And I'm like, well, what about the recording? I'm assuming he knows that I'm recording, <laughs> or probably, well, if he didn't know, he does now. It's fine, it's bound to happen, I accept that things like this can happen. To be fairly honest, the run itself has been fun, and it's not been filled with too many wipes. You know, it's once you, once you start having wipe after wipe after wipe, then it gets quite frustrating. Especially, like I said, later on when the repair bills are astronomical. Hold on a bit, what's going on here? Um, okay, alright, so we seem to have a split up, I mean, I'm just going to follow Minilin that is going to blink and probably be out of my line of sight, therefore, I'm probably going to end up getting lost here, so this is quite a real possibility, I really don't like that blink on mages right now. This has got me worried. <laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, I suppose I didn't manage to catch up. Looks like Minilin here doesn't really know or had a bit of a moment of uncertainty. Let's put it this way. Which kind of gave me the chance to catch up. I'm also looking at the mini-map, and it does look like we are kind of, in a way, sticking together as a group, so I did catch up. Where we are in the dungeon, that's a different matter. I can't believe how much of a maze this is. I feel like I'm going to need to come here when I'm leveled up and just kind of run around a couple of times just to get an idea of what this dungeon is like. I think... This would be a good dungeon to do on an alternate character that I may choose to create. There seems to be a lot of stuff to do here. Just, yeah. I am not sure on what I'm doing in terms of where I'm going. He 
Yep. Let's get some buffs going. I do like the Blessing of Kings buff. It is actually quite a nice buff, to be honest. All right, let's do this. So I guess now we sit here and wait for the priest to catch up. I don't know what he's doing. And I suppose whilst we wait, I'm just going to say that I don't really fancy wearing a dress. <laughs> but this is the curse of being a healer. I wondered though, if later on as a paladin healer you continue wearing stuff like this i feel like i remember at least speaking for wrath of the lich king possibly cataclysm um that paladin healers didn't wear cloth so i don't know if that's something that will cause a change or if my memory's flawed maybe um that's always a possibility but yeah, I always thought that paladin healers used to wear mail and not cloth for the added... I don't know, yeah. We'll see exactly what happens when we get to Wrath of the Lich King, to be honest. But I'm just saying, I don't really recall, generally speaking, paladins wearing cloth. At least in the end game content. Alright, well, I got stuck on that little ramp there. That was a bit of a dodgy ramp. I really like Tyrion's shield, by the way. That is actually quite a nice shield. I like the whole Scarlet logo on it as well. That's the one I wanted to need on. <laughs> That's the one that I wanted to get for myself. But uh, it does suit him better. Especially seeing as he's a tank. And we both have the same helmet as well. <laughs> Okay. Go down this way. Don't know what we're doing down here, to be honest. So why is he using the wand? As far as I can tell, he's got plenty of mana. He could definitely use his abilities. I don't know if he's trying to save up for something. There we go. Was that it? Okay, so he had a quest here. That's. See, if I would have had that quest, I probably wouldn't have known how to complete it. I would have probably not completed it. <laughs> Let me just quickly have a look here. All right. So apparently this comes from the shattered necklace which I noticed that we had earlier. I initially thought we didn't pick it up. Let's accept this. And I guess we just follow the group now. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, they're fighting some stuff there. They don't need my help. It's fine. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not that bothered about completing quests in dungeons. I, I've kind of stopped thinking about stuff like that. Although, to be honest, though, I should really focus on stuff like that because we do get good XP from it. But I suppose this first character is kind of a trip down memory lane, so to speak.
Okay. Might as well just stick with people here. I do want to be curious and do some exploring, but I know I'm going to get lost. Oh dear, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Don't want to be falling behind here. Okay. That doesn't look right. Okay, there they are. <laughs> so I was getting a bit worried there. I wasn't quite sure where I was going. I just kind of followed the paths that were empty of pretty much any NPC. Uh, I'm going to try and get a screenshot if I can. So what I need to figure out is how to hide the user interface, which I don't know, to be honest. All right. Oh, here we go. Fight's already started. Now, this is something I explored with whilst I was off camera, but I wasn't getting it right. I know there's a key combination for it. Um, I just don't know exactly why it's not working for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but yeah. All right. I thought it'd be a good time to get a screenshot. Maybe try and make my own thumbnails and use screenshots and stuff like that. But I have to hide the user interface and there's quite a lot of stuff in the background. So if I were to do it as it is now, there wouldn't really be much to work with in terms of clutter. So yeah. Well, this time around, it has worked a bit better with regards to this particular boss. I'm guessing the boss is still there. Geomanter. Stone Vault Geomanter. Yeah, so I've tried both of those um, functions, but for me it's not really working, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing anything wrong. I'd like to try and get basically a screenshot of the boss that killed us. <laughs> Alright. There he is. Grimlock. There we go. Yes, yeah, so this is what I'm. This is what happens when I try and use it. For some odd reason, I equip and unequip my weapons, or holster and unholster my weapons. Ooh, there's quite a few things there. Woohoo! Me, Grimlock King. Okay, if you say so, Mister Grimlock. I don't think you'll be so lucky this time. We didn't pull the whole room. <laughs> we were actually more careful. Tell you what, the priest is doing some nice damage when he wants to. I do wonder though what numbers the priest is doing. I mean, look at that. Like, when he wants to. He's doing a lot of damage. Saying that, Tyrion's doing quite a bit of damage as a tank. Ooh, requires level 40. Stamina, stamina, intellect, and spirit. This would be quite good for me. I'm going to have to need on this. I don't know if anyone else needs it. I don't know if anybody else has a off spec like a, a healing type of thing but uh it's always i always worry about taking something that someone else may use so it's fine I, if i don't get it i don't get it it's fine i mean i did kind of pass it <laughs> much appreciated that's fine. Many can use it. I'm okay with it. There will be better stuff for me in the future eventually. And I just have to be patient for it. It's like, like I said, I always worry about taking or greeting 
on something that someone else may desperately need more than I do. I'm just happy that I'm in the run and uh, I suppose I'm in a good group that kind of knows what they're doing. So I suppose it's my contribution, my payment, my way of saying thank you, really. Okay, there we go. Ooh, Tyrion's getting mighty close to uh, pretty much having a close look at the ground. <laughs> I suppose he is taking a lot of damage there. And on the bright side, I did complete a quest whilst being in here at least. So I just need to find out where the quest giver for that quest is. And hopefully he's not too far out of my way. The reason I say that is I have not yet discovered all of the flight points. I have actually quite a few discovered, so yeah, it's one of those things I don't, yeah, traveling long distances without flight paths can be quite tedious and I'm not a fan of that. I know it sounds like I'm not a fan of many things right now, but uh, yeah, there are many things I do like about the game. There's also a lot of things I don't like about the game, but I still play it, so, you know, I guess the things that I enjoy about the game outweigh the things that I don't like about the game. So, I guess, you know, it's, it's a positive. So, when I do say things that uh, I don't like this, that, or the other, it's not anything serious to make me stop wanting to play it. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I like the whole image of like just a bunch of NPCs gathered around the tank and then all this damage going on and, and stuff like that. I think it's well cool. This is one of the memories I have about World of Warcraft. When I say dungeon, this is kind of what my mind thinks. Not necessarily specific to a location as such, but... Uh, that's what a dungeon looks like, you know, to me in my mind. A lot of bad guys uh, that are being fought off by a group of five people. And Tyrion there got really, really close to dying. He's managed to pull a magic trick there. I did have to use pretty much everything that I had to keep him going. But, uh, yeah, I can't heal without mana. <laughs> I right, might as well get a little sip here. Seems like everybody else is doing that. Well, I'm glad you think that I did well with low mana. I was trying to manage everything there. But then this is kind of what I came out with out of, and I know I've said it again, I don't say it. Yeah, well, out of the dead mines. That's kind of what that taught me. That was. Practically, for me, baptism through fire. <laughs> like I said over there, I do like a challenge, so it did make me think and prioritize spells, abilities, and what I need to do to try and get the most out of however little I had. But it worked. It worked in the end. Everybody was still kept alive. And uh, yeah, no wipes, so can't really complain. Also, I'm going to say, right, just slight change of topic here. I really do not like how the blood, uh, blood elf, jeez, the night elf looks with that silly hat on. That type really does not look right for the class to me. <laughs> it's like he's using a, I suppose, a Catholic priest type style hat. It just doesn't look right. Especially, I don't know if it's the big ears that don't do it for me, that don't combine well with the hat, but yeah. 
I can't say I like it, <laughs> design-wise. But again, he's going to outgrow it, and uh, it's only one of those things that just fulfills a purpose for a specific limited amount of time. So really, that's kind of what you have to look at, which is kind of what I'm probably going to do. I'm going... I like this helmet. It doesn't bother me. It looks weird and odd with the little horn sticking downwards, but it's not one of the bad-looking helmets. And so for that reason, I'm keeping it on, but I think later on I will go into the options and remove helmets. I do like the fact that we can actually do that. To me, it's quite cool. Uh, there are quite a few things aspect-wise in the game that I can say that I'm not a big fan of. So, for example, um, like that witch hat that Minilin, Minilin has. Oh, that's a bit of a name to say. Um, yeah. For some odd reason, I never did like it. Again, it's a cast of thing. It's most often used on DPSers, but it's not. I think it's probably because it's overrated. That's the thing. It's pretty much everywhere in culture. So I do like the weirder looking things. So, like for example, the helmet that I have or that Tyrion has, that looks pretty decent. It doesn't look right. I'm saying that actually. Sorel has it as well, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, we seem to be going back on ourselves, so I'm not quite sure what is going on. Maybe we forgot something. <laughs> there is a bit of communication, but I'm not really getting a lot of information from the communication that's going on. Not enough to kind of give me an idea of what we forgot, what we're doing. Or maybe I'm just being thick right now, but yeah, I'll just stick with the group. Huh, okay. Maybe this is where we need to go. Maybe we forgot a boss or something. So I'm looking at the time, because I always do look at the time from time to time just to kind of give me an idea with regards to editing and how I'm going to edit certain things. And I can see that we've already gone past the one hour mark. And I feel like there's still a lot more content in this dungeon. So how long this video will end up being, I don't know. But if you made it this far in the dungeon, in this video really, I really do appreciate it. Uh, it does mean a lot. Your support is quite useful and important to me and I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's see how long this run will last. Ooh, that's a knockdown there. <laughs> So they are talking about bosses and stuff here. I'm reading the chat, trying to piece information together or enough information to kind of get an idea of what we're doing next. And it's not really anybody's fault. It just comes with the territory of not playing the game for so long and really not remembering much about this run. I think the only thing I did remember basically was that it's long and it's amazing that's about it um and otherwise i would have probably avoided this one if i were to to come with a group that doesn't really know it just because yeah look, I, I mean you can see for yourselves how uh how challenging this was okay ancient stonekeeper is down there we go so this was a boss and he drops plate, which I cannot wear. Strength, stamina. I'm guessing Tyrion's going to need this. Yeah, he's 40. Is he needing on it? Because if he does, I'm just going to have to pass on to it. Pass on it because I want him to have it. He's going to benefit from it more as a tank. Although, to be quite honest, I wouldn't mind having it for my <laughs> DPS set. So, as I said, I will 
basically have two sets of armor. I'm definitely not going to be questing in the healing stuff. It just basically makes questing that much longer and tedious. So I do want to try and do some damage there. And as you've seen in previous videos, um, I do end up in situations where I'm you know, fighting enemies that are one, two, three levels higher than me. And really, having that extra bit of damage does help by a great significant amount and reduces the amount of time I spend really with uh, regards to questing in an area. Potentially deaths as well. So, I always end up having two sets of gear. Um, I'll probably will end up doing that for quite a few characters that I'll be creating here in the game. Just as a as I thought, because I'll be going with several specs. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that dual spec ability. So, I've noticed this thing, I might as well mention it, where it looks like half of the guild just comes online. I'm not sure what that is, if that's a bug, or if that's like a delayed notification and it just bursts them all at the same time like honestly I'm quite curious what that is but it's not the first time I've noticed that I've just not said anything about it maybe someone in chat can tell me oh this is not good right now I'm silenced and I can't do anything we did pull quite a few things I would have probably broken this up into smaller pulls alright I got myself up and healed. I can do this for Tyrion as well. Sadly, Minlin has kind of had to have a close look at the ground. Uh, not really much that I can do when I'm silenced there, so it's a bit sad there. I would have tried to heal, but yeah, not really an option. Okay. Yep, running out of mana there. Trying to cure some of those poisons. Alright. There's actually a lot of stuff to loot. I mean, most of it is kind of useless, and I have run out of space, so I'm going to have to try and empty some stuff out. My big problem, always a big problem here in the game, I always run out of space. And I definitely will need space in case I do get some sort of need good help? drop that I may potentially need. Be careful. Ah, interesting, okay. <laughs> So, there's a trainer here in the dungeon. Suppose it's that long and probably has quite a few resources here that uh, they thought back at Blizzard that would be good to have a profession trainer there. Well, so much for that. <laughs> that kind of failed. I was planning on following one of the people here in the group so I don't have to do all that walking. Just trying to basically have my character unfollow whilst I empty out my bag and decide what I'm taking and what I'm not. But yeah, I'm going to have to manually do this because yeah, I get stuck on walls. Suppose if it's a straight path, it's good. It works really nicely. But when it's not, it doesn't. Okay, we're rebuffing. My buffs still have about two minutes. Okay, I think for now, in space, I should be fine. Well, I'm going to say, 
that this one has been quite a nice experience. It's been long. But it's been really nice. It's not been stressful. And I am really starting to appreciate the Paladin Healer. I'm enjoying playing the class. I really like the fact that I can heal in dungeons. Questing can be tedious, but it all makes up for the ability to heal in dungeons. Yes, I do need to rebuff. That is absolutely correct there. Might as well get these off. And I feel like after this I might need a drink just to have a full bar of mana. Just having to decide what drink to put in. I don't really want to get something that's too too recent. There we go. There we go. There we go. Them. I wonder why Blizzard didn't do this for all bosses. Some of them just have like speech bubbles and they're not voice acted. I'm sure it wouldn't have been too much more to ask from the game perspective or resources. I don't know. I wish they did that for all characters. I'm sure they do this um, later on. So in what we'd call now, um, what's it called? Uh, in, not in classic, but in retail. That's the one. Jeez, the word was definitely not coming to me. But I'm sure a lot of uh, voice acting is being done in the game. Ooh, this is interesting. It's got good stamina. It's got some spirit on it. Really, I would need intellect. So, we're going to greed on that, just for that reason. Well, my opinion on that is need if you need. And as you can see right here, there's also good etiquette in this group, in the sense of people do ask if they can need on stuff. So, yeah, it's probably definitely a better tank cloak or back than it is a healer. It's nice. It's blue. It means it's good quality. But <laughs> not very useful for me. And I know that sounds really greedy. I guess to some extent there is a bit of an element of greed here. We do want to get as much good gear as possible. Right now... Okay, I'm just going to follow the tank. Okay, I can't really mind that. Okay, someone's fallen down the pit. I fell for that earlier on. And I realized that that was a bit of a pun. I did not intend it, but uh, it's just the way it came out. Because <laughs> I literally fell for that. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we once were. Okay. So I see what happened there. Uh, we went back on ourselves because we forgot some bosses. Do you know what? I have not even counted how many bosses that we've done so far. How many? Yeah. How many we've done so far. I suppose if I look it up on Google, I could find out how many bosses there are actually in this particular run. But yeah, it does take quite a bit of time to do and I'm also appreciating I probably should mention that that this isn't a quote boosted run end quote kind of thing and I'm glad that Blizzard did something to discourage that I feel like the um, XP punishment on boosted runs is well deserved I feel like that's something they should have done from the very start because it does encourage people to actually play the game and actually run the dungeons as they were intended and not get someone of a high level to just run them through it really quickly, get a load of XP. Uh, that used to be a thing, by the way. That is one of the things I did do to power level my characters in the past when that was an option. So I'm glad that that is a thing. It's actually quite fun to have the challenge of doing the dungeons. 
with the wipes and everything else. So, yeah. My experience so far has been quite positive. And I do remember this room quite vaguely. I know that uh, we're going to fight the stone golems. Uh, I don't know what comes after that. I think there is a boss here. I don't remember what he looks like. But I feel like when he is going to show his face, I'm going to be like, ah, I remember you now. So let's see. I'm, I'm quite quite intrigued. I want to see what the boss looks like here. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm okay for mana, generally speaking. I'm going to have to create some inventory space. I'll give you that bread. You can have it. I don't need it. <laughs> I was going to throw it uh, or destroy it. But I just thought, it's food. Someone else can use it. I don't really need um, health, food. I can heal. Okay, so this brings back memories. I can remember doing this. Yep, this starts the fight. I'm going to fight these things individually, one after another. Um... I was just thinking now, I don't know if this is the final boss fight or if there's more to come. Okay. I'm guessing this is either the second to last boss fight or the last boss fight. So maybe that's why we went back on ourselves and did all the other bosses. It's just a guess. It makes sense to me. So... Because if I look at the minimap as well, the minimap tells me that there's nothing past this. So that is... I don't know, we'll see. Maybe there is another boss fight after this, but in a different part of the dungeon. So that's also an option. I'm quite curious right now. Stone Keeper. Okay, I am trying to hold back on my mana, just because I want to give it some time to regen. Okay, we're fine. Uh, we have some of these right here, so I'm just going to have to clear out some more stuff. Okay, maybe there isn't a boss fight here. I don't know why I thought there was a boss fight. I do remember that there is something kind of nice at the end of it in terms of a boss fight. Uh, and I mean nice from a design perspective. I suppose nice also from um, a fight perspective as well. But I did like the design. I just can't remember what it was. So I'm quite curious right now. By the way, I did pull a level here. So that is actually quite nice. I am now level 40. Which, I should have said something about it quite a while back, but I just forgot to say it. Alright. Okay, okay, this corridor brings back memories. It's really weird, uh, in the sense that I can remember the dungeon but not before I go into a room it's after I enter a room I'm like oh okay this is what this looked like I remember now it, it's that almost like deja vu in the sense of you don't remember it before you remember it as it's happening if that makes sense so yeah it's it, it's nice it brings back quite a few memories There's definitely a bit of nostalgia here. Which is really weird, because like I said, I didn't used to run this very often. Which is probably why I don't have a very good memory of it. <laughs> He's running with the golem in tow. Alright, 
I guess we're ready to go. Alright, I'm trying to time my heals so I don't waste too much mana. So I know it looks like I'm letting the tank's health go down quite a bit. And I'm doing that on purpose, to be honest. Just so that I basically don't overheal too much. Which I can do sometimes. And I basically that kind of results in... Um, kind of... Okay, never mind. <laughs> that basically results kind of in just trying to preserve some mana there. Oh... oh. Oh, I remember this. I did want to say... Right, so, I was a bit mixed up in the previous room. I did remember there was a big guy that were fighting. Um, I thought it was in that room, or at least that's how my memory um, remembered it. But yeah, we're going to be fighting the big guy in front of us. So that's kind of cool. All right. Okay. So I'm throwing the um, cheap things away, uh, or the things that won't bring me a lot of money. I'm trying to make a bit of space here in my inventory, so I have things or space to loot things. Now I think the way this fight goes is we end up fighting all the stone dwarves. That are scattered in the room right close to the wall then we have these ones on this ring in front of me uh, we also have the big golems as well as the big boss at the end or maybe we fight him but then he summons them randomly i think it's something like that but this model is also reused quite a bit in northern end as well so let's see if my memory is correct. So we are fighting the boss right now. I wonder at what point he... Oh no, he's already started summoning some of the dwarves. Because I th no, ha no, he hasn't. Not yet. There we go. Now why do I remember them being quite... Quite a few. Ah, oh, see, so they do have a little... Like a uh, cloud animation type of thing going on when they do come to life. So we kind of know which ones. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, I do remember having quite a few of these guys to fend off. There's not really that much need for healing right now. Wow, they kind of just fell out at the same side, time. <laughs> for the makers. Right, we get the big guys now. Well, the boss is down. What is that? Um Armor, Agility, Spirit. That's more of a tank item. Or maybe a warrior type of item. So, really not much that I need from here. Well, that was actually quite good. Oh, hello. There's some more stuff here. So, don't need this one. And what is this? No, that's not very useful. And I guess that's it. I didn't really get much out of this. Apart from the experience of doing it, which was nice. Lore Keeper. Lore Keeper of Norganon. That's a bit of a weird name. Guess we talk to you.
Wow, you have quite a few things to say. Well, with that said, I guess that's it. We did have this. I don't know how to complete this, but uh, <laughs> that's fine. All in all, it was a good run. I actually enjoyed it. It was a long run. <laughs> right, we're talking about that wipe there. Um, personally speaking, I saw nothing. Heard nothing, knew nothing. Nope, didn't happen. Wasn't there. Okay, well, that was it. It's uh, It's been a fun run. I've actually quite enjoyed it. I do have some stuff here that I need to get rid of eventually. And a quest or two that I did not complete, probably should have completed. But uh, yes, that is it for now. Or hold on a bit, where's everybody going? I'm just going to stick with these dudes. I don't really want to use my hearthstone. I'm guessing this is basically the way out of the dungeon. So, yeah. I'm just going to follow these guys out. I think it's probably the best way of doing it. Uh, hopefully I don't get lost. If I do get lost, I do have my Hearthstone that I could probably use and get myself back to Stormwind, which is where I have it set. But that is it for this video, folks. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. And if you made it all the way to the end, you are a champion, and I just wanted to let you know that I really do appreciate your amazing support. Thank you all for clicking on the video. As always, until next time, stay safe, folks.